it's nothing wrong with asking yourself those questions, but focus on things that matter. Don't focus on things that doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, when you get to the court, you have to prove. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Hi, welcome. Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about the question, does my work have to be published to be protected? This is an interesting question and also difficult to answer. Because it's interesting, you need to look at the answer and can you use the answer? Let's talk about this. Let's go to drawing board. The thing is, most of the time, when people ask the question is, does my work have to be published to be protected? They're doing a lot of things to protect their work. I can understand that because you create something, you want to protect it before you make it publish. But the question is, what is publish? When you publish this book, doesn't mean then it's published. Or when you type a book, you finish the book, is it then published? The thing is, when you look at the Dutch law, it doesn't say a lot about it. But sometimes, most of the time, you can find a definition of when something is created in the cases. But it depends on the situation. But here you see where, what works are. And he is, they say something about it. So if you look at the English translation, I'm going to go to Article 10. And here they say, whatever may be the mode or form of its expression. So it needs to be expressed. So what they're saying here is, it doesn't matter if you are publish it or not. You understand what I mean? So if you are considering on writing a book and you want to publish it, it's not like you will get copyright after you publish it. No. And if you guys know, I do like the word pro um, protected, but in the case we have to use it in order to make a point. When you have certain kind of rights, you have the right to enforce them or not. There are some limitations by the law. So if you look at here, you see copyrights. They explain when you have certain kind of rights. When you have copyright, you have exclusive right. You see, exclusive right is the right to make it public and the right to make a copy of it. Uh, but we need to focus also on the limitation by law. We talk about this in another video. And like with every video, I always tell you, we have A, B, and C. A is the right itself. We have the right to reproduc um, copy, reproduction, and make it public. But there are some limitations by the law. B is the copyright holder, and C is the person that wants to use it. So these two are connected. The law says the copyright holder has the right. It's up to B if he's going to take action against C or not. And most of the time B can do that if there is if he has a copyright. But when there is limitation, B cannot do anything. That's why we have the ABC formula. And if you look at this question, does my work have to be published to be protected? No. As soon as you meet the other requirements of copyright, we talk about it in other videos. Then you meet the requirement of copyright. Then you have copyright on it. And you see here, they're saying you need, um, let me see if I can translate this correct. There needs to be an expression. When there is an, an uh, expression, it doesn't matter in which form you have it, then you meet these requirements. Then you have a work if you look at the ABC formula. And if there's no limitation, then you have copyright on it. When you have copyright on it, it's up to you to decide if you're going to take action or not. I can understand when you have something, you want to create something, and you want to make sure that you meet every requirement of copyright. The thing is, as soon as you have an idea, we talk about it in another video, as soon as you have an idea and you wrote it down, you register at the IP office, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about those requirements because the proof is showing, okay, from that moment, you have copyright on it. You meet the requirements of copyright, if you meet the requirements of copyright. And the thing is, if you focus too much on the publication or whatever, then you are spending less time on executing your idea. The reason why I'm saying that is when you execute your idea, that is going to be protected, not the idea itself. And if you're really worried about 
publishing something it also depends on the situation i can understand why you are worried about that but that's not really an answer that you're looking for if i'm you and i have i'm a, i'm in a position that i created something i'm not worried about copyright i'm worried about okay i create something what are the limit uh, what can i protect and what cannot protect and how can i make my business model better or how can i make a business model for this those are the questions you need to ask yourself because you're focusing way too much on the copyright and hope you will get money from it while there are other chances out there and those things are not getting your attention so if you're serious about your company of your idea or the execution of your idea think about those things it's nothing wrong with asking yourself those questions but focus on things that matter don't focus things that doesn't matter because at the end of the day when you get to the court you have to prove that um, you create something sometimes it's easy sometimes it isn't and most of the time when you want to execute something you have a plan just register the plan and when you register the IP office you're good to go you can always prove it so you can focus on other things so this is a minor question an important one but is it really important do you need to focus on that Focus on things that really matters. So we talk about um, protection of copyright and publish. Thing is, like I said, publishment is not a requirement. It's when you create it, when there's a certain kind of expression, then you have copyright. If you meet the other requirements of copyright. But keep in mind, when you talk about publishment, I can understand it's a minor thing, but you want to make sure that everything is correct. But if you focus too much on the publishment and the copyright, it means you're focusing less on things that are important. For example, your business model or making your company bigger of making your product better of communicate better with your customer. The reason why I'm saying that is because when you focus less on those things, doesn't mean you're focusing less on the executing of your idea. But it also depends where you are or what you're asking for this. But in my situation is people that focus too much on the publishment they're focusing less on the company and the problem with that is they are not focusing on developing of the product of company and it can hurt the company in the long run so i i can understand you want to protect it but focus also on other part and this is not something really that important as soon as you do it correctly at the beginning you don't have to worry about that so if you have question about this just join the discord and ask me a question directly if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be great